Man, what's good? What's up, everybody? BQ here, Impact Lounge YouTube channel with my boy Spooky right here. And uh, Bound for Glory yesterday. We'll be uh, reviewing it on the Cool Factor podcast here in a couple days. Um, you know, had a little time to think about it. You know, I think there were certain things that I made certain judgments very quickly about, and then there's some I've had a chance to think about a little bit more where I still stand by it. But uh, we'll talk about that on the podcast. But one of the things that I think was a I was a little short sighted yesterday that I missed out on was that when EC3 and Moose had their match, which was which was cool. Like I don't got anything to, uh, bad to say about it. I thought the the finish didn't make any sense. You know, I was like, what the hell's going on here? That we've you know, thinking about it a little more, having conversations with people, seeing the Twitter chatter, even seeing Moose send a tweet out saying, thank you, EC3. Uh, I think he might have said control. Contr uh, he said you've been warned or something like that. So it's almost like he's taking on EC3's persona or his gimmick a little bit. I don't know. Uh, we don't know if we're necessarily even going to see EC3 again in Impact. Hopefully we do. That would really suck if we don't. But anyway... Now, I think, you know, a lot of people have been saying this. Well, EC3, I'm not, excuse me, not EC3, but Moose, now he's going to control his narrative. And, you know, it's like EC3 was saying, you know, do something. Make this title mean something. Become a champion, you know? And I think that's where they're going with this. With with uh, Rich Swan. he's probably going to have a program with, you know, Eric Young a little bit longer. I would imagine so. And maybe he's moving on to something with Moose, you know? That's something I'd have a lot of interest in. Now, Moose needs to be the world champion. That's the problem, though. Is, are they going to hotshot this thing again? You know, it's probably going to be hard to kill, though. So, you know, even if Swan lost it then, hypothetically, he'd have a few month reign. So I guess that's not too bad. But if this is where they're going with it, they're talking Moose and Swan, you know, having a little program here. I think I'd have a lot of interest in that. And I think most people would. You know, uh, two guys that have really done nothing but good. <laughs> Amazing how my cat managed to unmute the TV. I'm watching my LA Chargers here play. If you got if you got pets, you know if they're gonna step on a control, it's gonna be on that one button. You don't want them to step on. But um, yeah, man, I I think this is gonna be cool. I think this is gonna be good. Like, you mix that with you know that potential program with the you know what they're going to do with the knockouts over the next several months. Like we have a good few months of television coming up because usually the television after bound for glory, I don't want to say it sucks, but it's, it's, it's very unfocused. It's not, it's, it's, it's like whatever, just whatever matches, you know what I mean? So we, I think we got a good few months of television coming up here. So leave your thoughts in the comments about what you thought about the moose EC three match, what you think that meant for moose. And do you think that, we're going to get this Moose versus Rich Swan angle that some people are, you know, talking about that it looks possible, you know? And again, it, I think it would be good. I think it'd be the best world title feud in a long time. Moose is due, <laughs> due to have a program for the world title. So leave your thoughts in the comments. This is The Lounge. I'm out. Peace.